Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to another real world review. And today we're going to be reviewing the Alpine Star Ridge Boots. Now before we get into the riding part of this discussion, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to flip over and we're going to show you exactly what the boot looks like and then we'll get started. Alright guys, so today we're going to be reviewing the Alpine Star Ridge Waterproof Boot. This is a complete leather boot. It's full grain leather. Um, you're going to see real quickly, has it going to have a uh, velcro strap on each side and then you've got this velcro strap. Um, really easy on off. No issues with that whatsoever. Um, styling wise, very plainly styled. The only branding you're really going to see on it is it's got Alpine Stars right here and then there's another little Alpine Star logo here which is right below a high-vis reflective strip here in the back. Um, on the sole, you're going to see it has a textured sole, and I can tell you from riding with these boots on in three different situations in which I got absolutely poured on, these give you great grip. Great grip on the pegs when it's dry, great grip on the pegs when it's wet, and also great grip on the road whenever you're at a stoplight and it's been raining or it just started raining. Um, so from a functionality standpoint, we're going to go ahead and hop on the bike, and I'm going to let you know all about them there. Alright, so I've shown you what they look like, and I've shown you that they look pretty dang good. But, the real question is, how do they perform? Do they perform as good as they look? Well, for me, personally, I think they're a great boot. Um, I've been wearing them now for about, I want to say, two and a half weeks. Um, I've had no issues with them whatsoever. Um, as I stated in the beginning of this video, I've ridden with these boots in three separate occasions in the absolute pouring, pouring rain. And I haven't had a single issue. Um, not a single issue. All three times I got caught in the rain. I uh, did not have my rain gear on. And whenever I got to work, the only thing that was dry were my feet. Um, the boots 100% did the exact thing that they're designed to do. They kept my foot dry. That is exactly what you want in a waterproof boot. Now for me it did take a little bit to get used to these boots and that's really because I was a guy that mostly rode in sneakers. I rode in tennis shoes. I wore my Nikes everywhere I went. So I was used to a very slim profile uh, to hitting the brake, putting my foot in to, uh, to shift gears um, and that is the complete opposite whenever you have boots on. You're going to have a really fat end of your foot to be able to use the foot controls on your bike. Um, took a couple days for me to get used to it, um, but overall it wasn't bad at all. Um, another thing, whenever I first got these boots, being that they are full grain leather, they're made of nothing but leather aside from the sole of the shoe, it took a little bit for them to break in, not going to lie. Whenever I first got them, they were stiff as all hell, absolutely insanely stiff. Um, and I mean, that's to be expected. Anything that's brand new leather, until you stretch it out and, and get it used to what it's going to be doing, bending wise. I mean, my coat was the same way. Um, it's going to be a lot, a lot tougher in the beginning. Um, but after about a week of wearing them, now they are completely broken. Um, I have no issues with the boots whatsoever uh, and and I'm really really enjoying them um, like I mentioned in the beginning I think my only real complaint about the boot would probably be that I wish there was a little tab on the back of the heel so whenever you're pulling your boots on you can kind of grab that tab and just pull them up but I think they kind of get away with it not having that tab because it is so easy to slide on and off you don't really need to grab too much to get it pulled up um, Really, aside from that, there there really isn't too many negatives to this boot. Um, I'd say styling-wise, they could have put a little bit more detail into the styling. Um, but aside from that, I, I really have no complaints with the boot. Um, I have a couple of other boots that I'm going to show you right here. Boom, boom, boom. Um, and these are com competitive waterproof boots um, that you can look at an alternative to this and kind of compare the boot. Um, myself personally, I've never used any of these boots. Um, the boot that I'm currently wearing sits at about the 159, 149 price range. Um, obviously some of the other boots 
that I just showed you are cheaper. Um, the other Alpine Star boot is more expensive. Um, but you're all going to pretty much get the same thing. So I got the link to this particular boot down in the description um, as well as the other three. So take a look at those. Make your own decision. For me personally, these do exactly what I needed them to do. They look good. They feel good and they keep my feet dry so for me i would definitely give this uh this product a, a thumbs up for sure uh, i would recommend it um, and like i said to order down in the link in the description and thanks again to motorcycle superstore for making these um, reviews possible and you guys have a good one peace